In this video, I want to look at the method for dividing fractions by using common denominators and then dividing the numerators. So this is one of our general methods for dividing fractions. We give the fractions common denominators and then we divide the numerators. And this method turns a fraction division problem into an equivalent whole number division problem. So this is an example of how this works. Let's consider 2 thirds divided by 1 half. Well, for 2 thirds, we can multiply both the top and the bottom by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. For 1 half, we multiply the top and the bottom by 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. So this would be 4 over 6 divided by 3 over 6. Since they have a common denominator, this is going to be the same as just 4 divided by 3, or 4 thirds. So why is it that this method works? So let's think about this problem by thinking how many 1 half cups of water are in 2 thirds cups of water. So this problem is 2 thirds divided by 1 half. 2 thirds is the total amount of water we have, and 1 half is the size of each group. So we want to know how many groups. Let's consider this cup, and let's suppose this orange part is the water that we have to fill. My blue horizontal lines represent thirds, so here I have two thirds cups. The black line is one half a cup. So just from this picture, we should be able to say that the answer to this problem is one, plus a little bit more. We'll need one half a cup plus a little bit extra. However, we can give a more precise answer by giving one half and two thirds a common denominator to create like parts. Looking at my cup, I can see this middle third is split in half. And so I'm going to continue that with the top and the bottom thirds as well. When I do that, I can see this whole water line is one, two, three, four, six of a cup. And on this side, we have one, two, three, six cups. So now I want to know how many 3 6 cups are inside of 4 6 cups. In other words, how many 3 6 are in 4 6? Well now this idea of 6th is a common unit. So this is equivalent to the problem how many 3's are in 4. Well how many 3's are in 4 is the problem 4 divided by 3. Whose answer is 4 over 3 or 1 and 1 third so a little over one. So by breaking this up into a common grouping, into a common denominator, we can use that denominator as essentially a unit and just think of the tops of the fractions, the numerators, as our whole pieces and do our division. And this same line of reasoning will work for any fraction division problem. We can divide any two fractions by giving them a common denominator and dividing the resulting numerators. So let's try this again with 3 fifths divided by 1 fourth. Well, this common denominator would be 20. 5 times 4 is 20, and 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20, and 1 times 5 is 5. So now this problem becomes the same thing as 12 divided by 5, which is 12 over 5. So we can use common denominators to just divide the numerators, and this is one method for dividing fractions.